Scrooge was left alone and exhausted in his bedchamber. And thus he remained until the nearby clock began to strike the hour. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, what was that? Two o'clock. One o'clock? Well, one o'clock? Oh. The first is one, the second at two. It's one o'clock, I know it is. The clock strikes two. The ghost of Christmas present. No, 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 no. Awakening in the middle of a prodigiously tough snore and sitting up in bed to get his thoughts together, Scrooge had no occasion to be told that the bell was again upon the stroke of one. On the stroke of one, Scrooge awakened suddenly and sat him bolt upright in his own bed. Do you remember the words of Marley's ghost? One, 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 two. Oh, where am I? and wondered from which direction the second specter would appear. At that moment, nothing between a baby and a rhinoceros would have astonished him very much. Now being prepared for almost anything, he was not by any means prepared for nothing. I'm ready for you, whatever you are! And consequently, when no shape appeared, he was taken with a violent fit of trembling. Five minutes, 10 minutes, quarter of an hour went by, yet nothing came. Then as he sat in his bed, he became aware, gradually, of a great blaze of ruddy light that seemed to shine upon him from the adjoining room. He got up softly and shuffled in his slippers to the door. It was his own sitting room, there was no doubt about that. But it had undergone a surprising transformation. I'm the walls and ceiling I'm were so hung with you, living green. Or shall I come in there and get you? I'm coming. <laughs> come over here, you weird little man. <laughs> <laughs> I am the ghost of Christmas present. Look upon me. You have never seen the like of me before. Never. I don't think I have spirit. No, I'm afraid not. No. Never. 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 And have you never known my elder brothers born these years before me? I'm afraid I haven't. Have you had many brothers? <laughs> a huge number. More than 1800. 1842, to be exact. I have 1859 brothers. You're a little absent minded spirit. <laughs> no, I'm a large absent minded spirit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A tremendous family to provide for. Spirit, conduct me where you will. Already I have been forth under compulsion and learned the lesson which is working now. If you have aught to teach me, let me profit by it. Touch my robe. Touch my robe. Touch my robe. Touch my robe, Ebenezer Scrooge. Touch my robe. Come. Touch my robe. Touch my robe. <laughs> Take me where you wish. I'd like to get this over and done with. Touch my robe. Lay hold of my robe, Ebenezer Scrooge. Come, touch my robe. Touch my robe. Touch my robe. Why? Because I like love. <laughs>